What's up guys? Tonight I'm reviewing Simply Southern from the Comfy Cow. I had this flavor, I think last year, uh, there were some quality control issues that held it back from being something special. And since Comfy Cow seems to have addressed said issues, I'm really excited to try this one again. It's a bourbon uh, vanilla, I think, or a bourbon ice cream base with chocolate pecan pie pieces in it. I love pecan pie. It's one of those, those things that a lot of ice cream companies try to implement. They never really do it justice. And I think that a, a Southern company like Comfy Cow, they might have a shot at it. Cam's excited. I'm excited. Bent spoon is in hand. Let's go. First spoonful here, and I can already smell the bourbon. So this one's gonna be pretty boozy, I think. I have no problems with that. There also seems to be, yes, chocolate pecan pie. Here we go. All right. I got some pecans. Got some of that pie crust. It's good. Now remember, like I said, the quality control held it back big time. I really wanted a lot of pecan pie pieces last time I had this flavor. I didn't get that. So it's interesting to see if uh, this one is a little bit different the second time around. We're off to a good start though. Despite the smell of the bourbon, I gotta say this one has good balance too. Just like the Grater's flavor I recently reviewed, this one's not too boozy for me. Then again, I like to drink my alcohol and uh, some people just have virgin taste buds. I'm, I'm not that sensitive to it, so your mileage may vary. I don't wanna jinx it, but we are already off to a much better start than we had last time. Look at all the chocolate pieces. They're bigger than they were last time. And look at those pie chunks. That's what we came here for. And they're in there. Speak of the devil. Bam, look at that. Mm. I love pecan pie. Here we go. Mm -hmm. No texture issues. No taste issues. Just the way it should be. Like I said, lots of mix-ins. Chocolate, pecan pie. Can't ask for much more. All right, I think it's pretty safe to say, as I eat my, you know, eight or ninth pecan pie piece, have a through this pint, that the quality control issues, at least in this flavor, in this pint, have been solved this time around, and I couldn't be happier. This is the flavor that I expected the first time around. It's a shame it took me two tries at it, but hey, better late than never. Well, Comfy Cow, once again, two flavors rescooped. Two flavors I enjoyed a whole lot more the second time around. Quality control issues have been taken care of. Their pints are now packed full of mix-ins. And like I said, I could not be happier because so many of their flavors had so much potential, this one included, and I really felt they missed the mark by not <coughs> bringing it with the, uh, the mix-ins. You know, the quality control just really made it dead in the water, and uh, thank God, thank God this, is, this has been fixed. This flavor's great. Really enjoyable flavor. I actually had, I think it's better than the last bourbon pecan pie flavor I had from Ben and Jerry's, believe it or not. They have a Texas exclusive bourbon pecan pie flavor, and I think this one is way better than that. We got that uh, that great base, you know, it's just boozy enough for me. You know, it, the lack of booze may be a turn off for some people, it may be a plus, it depends on who you are, but I think the balance was good here. The vanilla came through strong, we got the pecan pie pieces, we got the chocolate chunks, it all works together very well, and uh, I really enjoyed this flavor. I give this one an eight out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.